Today is November 21st, 2015, and this is a 40 gallon breeder set up with Neolamprologus ocelotus gold, gold ossies. I, uh, I got these fish a week ago. I got them last Saturday, and there's seven. And look at this. I'm going to switch this over here. There's seven of them in here. Here was one. He was just digging in the sand in front of his shell. These are Neothoma shells. And um, I have fine sand for a substrate. There's some endler live bearers in there with these fish. I had them outdoors this past summer. And I had to put them in some place. So here he is. He or she, I don't know. They're still too young to tell. But he was just there. There he is. I love those things. The way they bulldoze in the sand. So here he goes. Let's see. I'll scan around. I, I have, uh, I don't know, about 10 Neothoma shells that I've buried in the tank. Right there, if you see the fine green, hard to tell, but right, let's see if I can get my finger in there. Okay, right in this area, that's Cryptocarini pygmaea. They were tissue cultured plants. A little container of cost $7, and when I counted them all up after separating, there was close to 60 plants. But they're only, they're tiny, they're only a quarter of an inch tall. So I planted some there, and some on the other side, right in that vicinity. This is just temporary, just so they can grow. I put a little bit of mineralized soil. I took it and I dried it out into cubes, cut them up, they look like brownies. And I put them, I put it underneath the, the uh, sand, and then I planted the crypts. In the center, I've got two varieties of crypt, of uh, excuse me, Valsneria. There's a corkscrew val in the center, and then Italian on the outside. Uh, I don't know how many plants are there. There's uh, probably close to 40. Maybe I should zoom out and not have such a tight. Here we go. Let's see. Get a bigger view of the tank. So there we go. I've got one, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five neothomas there. And three, four, five, six. I got six on this side. Unless they unless I missed it. Maybe I have one in the back corner, I think. Maybe I do. I put in many more than I needed. Alright, so I have hornwort floating on the surface. And a couple of water lettuce little tiny ones from the summertime they'll stay small all winter in this tank and let's see if I can zoom in now and catch oops catch some more of the gold Aussies at work I'll find some there's some flake that's on the bottom I just fed the fish I feed them with, uh, well, there's a neothoma in the back there. I, fed with, I feed with New Life Spectrum one millimeter pellets, sinking pellets, cichlid pellets. Huh. Well, there, there, there's one, right? Does this focus? Now that's the zoom. I guess it's an autofocus. Off a lot of the endlers down there. I'll be getting rid of them. There's an Aussie. Come on, I, focus. Hmm. Maybe it's too close. Oh, there we go. Oh, look. Oh. Ha. Huh. So I have to, I've got to focus it myself. Sorry about that. Now, where'd it go?
There's one. Just kind of hanging out. There's another. Here we go. Let's see if we get some some kind of action between these two. Uh -oh. oh, there's it's got a pellet. That shows you those are one millimeter pellets. So that shows you how big they are compared to the mouth. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to crush the pellets a little bit. Yeah, there's one there too, back in this corner. Oh, sorry. I should zoom out. Well, anyway, there's my seven gold Aussies for today. This is very fine sand. I sifted it through a uh, sieve from one old one from my wife's kitchen, like a flour sieve. So it's it's fine. It's pretty fine. I've got some of the sunset gold I think it is the, the carob sea is it the instant ocean carob sea sunset gold it's really nice it looks like it's finely crushed peace river sand as far as the color I've got that mixed in with some uh, ha, some other marine substrate I think it's uh, was it oolite uh, something or another like that really fine stuff and what else is in there there's some natural sand. I think there's some uh, onyx sand. Um, just a whole bunch of different stuff. There's some crushed, crushed shells, crushed coral. Uh, yeah, it's just a conglomeration of a lot of stuff that I had around. I'm seeing a little bit of action over here. It's a little bit light, but that could be washing out the colors on the Aussies. I think I might be removing some of these endlers. I wanted some females. So here's a baby ancestress. I threw one in there. Oh yeah, there's one there's one juvenile Telmatochromus temporalis shell in here. It, it got left behind when I cleaned out the tank. I know it's in here somewhere. I saw him immediately jump into a shell. She wouldn't believe what he went through when I was cleaning this, and he still survived. So I guess he'll grow up. Unless they, yeah, I, I don't know. Well, he's in there somewhere. 
Okay, so that's it for today.